Hey guys, welcome back. Whoa, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be basically on the same Monday. We're gonna do a little bit of story time. You had a couple of questions in my last video um, about pregnancy, so basically it's gonna be a little story time. And like she said earlier, there's not much you can say about pregnancy. You can get pregnant when you're in the army. So if you haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit like button, hit subscribe, and you can follow her at your dot favorite dot African underscore on Instagram. And what about it? That's it. Oh, oh Snapchat. Yeah. Right. Nah. My Snapchat. Instagram. Instagram. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my Instagram way is that. Okay. Oh well, yeah. I got Jolly Rancher in my mouth. That's cute. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a red one? Do you have a red one? I don't know. Those are the best Jolly Ranchers. The red one and the red one. I don't really like the green or the blue. No, that one's great. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, somebody basically commented down below and was like, um, can you get a key talk about pregnancy while in the military? So you can't get pregnant. Like you're not you're not like taking away your female rights to have a baby just because you're in the military. However, you can't get Common. pregnant. Right, however come. You cannot get pregnant in training. Um when you're in training or you'll get chapter. Don't do it. I had a friend that while I was in basic training got chapped it out. Her baby's beautiful though. Really? Yeah. So okay. yeah, even if like you're in reception and you find out that you're pregnant in reception. You going yeah. you going to the hospital, so you can't be pregnant because this is a safety hazard, and you mm -hmm. you can't just be out here going push ups. Then you're not mission ready. You right. can't do the stuff you need to do in the army, out in training, running and doing mm -hmm. push ups and all the hazardous stuff you can be doing to harm babies. But once you get to your regular duty station, you can get pregnant. You can have your baby. Um, I can't with my mouth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your baby. You can um you like you'll get a profile once you get to a certain amount of weeks and. Basically, it's paid for. You know what I'm saying? Um, your health insurance. Yeah, you know, and if you're nothing. if you're overseas, uh, like I had a friend who was pregnant overseas. They give you the option, like at a certain amount of time, well, a certain amount of weeks, you can go back to the states. But they'll send you to a duty station that's non deployable so you won't deploy because you're pregnant. And you have the option to get out too. Mm -hmm. But they persuade you not to. They, yeah, they the try. will sit you down after. You, I think it's your commander after you get pregnant and ask you. Um, Basically, you want to further your career, you want to get out. And I, I had um, a friend who um, got pregnant like right after basic training, and she was like, she didn't want to do it, she didn't want to leave her baby. Some people can't do it, they rather just go ahead and go back to the house and be your mommy, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you get that choice, and a lot of people try to abuse it, get pregnant, and be like, yeah, I want to get out just to get out. It ain't that deep, it's finish, finish out your little contract. That's what I said. If you want to stay in like me, I'm gonna finish. I two more shit, it's like two and a half. Two and a half more years. If I don't like this shit. But it's yeah. alright. Honestly, it's not bad. It's what you make of it. Right. And you meet really cool people. Right. So, <laughs> a little backstory real quick. So, how we kind of met, for those of you who don't know, she was in my last vlog. So, make sure you click that. Go check out my last vlog before this one. Um, she was a supporter, subscriber, before she joined the military, as many of you guys are. Um, you guys liked my videos before y'all go in. And... She ended up going to Korea. And she was one of the first people to ever buy my glitter when I um, dropped my glitter line. So, you know, we go back to like two years almost at this point. I mean, it, it is really like three because I've been yeah. here two already. I yeah. was in Korea. It was before I even, like, when I signed, before I signed my contract, I didn't ship for basic to like six months after that. Yeah. But, like, we so were talking and stuff. Been like a little minute. It, it, yeah. So it was like, I always reply to people on Snapchat. My replies might be like, Dry at first, but if you break me down, then I'll continue to talk to you. You said some people just be that was me. I went in, I kept texting her. Some people just be wanting to just talk about nothing, like you don't really want, you just want to talk. You be using the military, to, okay. If I actually have a military, I get to talk to her, they'll be like, Oh, so how you doing? No, no, if you really have legitimate questions about the military, I would definitely answer them. But some of the stuff is repetitive, so sometimes I might not reply, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but that's how the 10 I'm replying, I'll snap. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how that happened. And then she got stationed in Korea at the Korea Japan in Fort Lee. And you guys know I'm at Fort Eustis, which is an hour away. So we linked up real quick. Just a little backstory of her. Like, who is this random ass girl on your channel? She's so down to earth. I was like, because you know how y'all meet like real YouTubers or whatever and like celebrities and shit. And they be like, they don't do nothing like how they seem in videos. She's exactly how she is in her videos. I'm texting you need more people like that. Yeah, because the rest of if you come out fake on you, I mean, you come on the you on YouTube and act a certain type of way, and then the people meet you in person. Every person, every subscriber I have met has always said you're exactly how you are. Like you're transparent as fuck. She's funnier in person. I ain't sure. We click like this. We've never met in person before. This. Yeah, and, and we've been here a little bit, four days at this point, and she ain't getting my nerves yet. So 
she <laughs> made it past. Anyway, the reason why you guys are here is to talk about the military, right? So she was gonna talk about some of her um base training experiences because y'all know I went to base training in 2013. She went in what 16? 2017. Oh 17. So she just went. So a lot of stuff that I did might have changed. Mm -hmm. What year is this? In 19? Just now? 19. Yeah, I went in 2017. Yeah, so a lot of things that happened when I went changed now that she went, the stuff that she went through, they went. So she's going to tell some stories. I'm going to just be here listening. I might chime in a little bit, but really this is her her, her shining right now. So tell a little bit about your basic training experience and like what are some new things that you've heard me talk about that y'all did that we did. Well, we can compare, like talk about like the events they have in basic mm -hmm. training and then like, for example... Lord have mercy. If y'all watched her first vlog about basic training, yeah, I know about Victory Tower. That 45-foot tower. Mm -hmm. When she talked about it, I was like, I Googled that shit. I was like, yo, I'm not doing that. Guess who had to do that? <laughs> and guess who almost died doing look right it? here. Stop looking at yourself. Try to look at this. It's because that color is I know. So pretty. So. Girl, Bob. <laughs> the, whole, the whole video when you watch it, we're going to be looking down. So just try to, you can bounce, but try to like look at that. So you're looking at them. But, um, shit, I lost my train of thought now. The, the, the Warrior Tower, Victory Tower, whatever. The warrior Tower. Girl, what I'm saying? <laughs> you getting old, okay, you forgot. Um, five years ago. Damn. Yeah. Well, when I went, just the same way she explained to us in her first video, mm -hmm. you make your harness yourself. Yeah. When they told us that, so basically it's a repel tower, y'all, for those who don't know what we're talking about at all. It's a 45 foot or 40 foot. Repel it's tower, 45. 45. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, a repel, repel tower. Basically, you're gonna bounce off of it, and like she said, you're gonna make your own harness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they make you go on a little practice wall or whatever. For me, they say the practice wall is harder, but for me, it was easier because it's a, a slanted. I didn't even do it. Real? Yeah. I was like, I was too scared of that too. I, like, oh, I used that shit was small. I'm not doing that shit. I ain't doing that shit. Crazy. But I was like. Lord, like we got there and they had us line up and like wait outside the thing. I'm mm -hmm. just sitting there looking at it like I'm really going up there. I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm I, I I'm sure I'm not doing that. So like they take you in a little pit or whatever and they put you by like your group that you're in, your platoon, mm -hmm. and they teach you how to make it. But it's like if you fuck it up, you basically gonna kill yourself. And I just started tying that shit hard as fuck because he wanted to check us. Yeah. Boy, I'm like, okay. Yeah, shit, my fuck. I said, listen, my that vagina boom. Right, that shit hurt. Like, that, that shit was tight, though. I was yeah. scared that shit was gonna break, but that shit hurt. Like, now I was still scared because I didn't know if it would undo. Yeah. But, of course, it does. Well, it, I don't know. I'm pretty sure they've had an accident before. I'm sure, too. But, um. They don't even be standing right under it either. They be off to the top. So if you fall in. Yeah, they, they don't got nothing under it to catch yeah. you or nothing. Like, it's tire just, pit. It's like it's straight little, floor. Yeah. It's like little. It's not even rubber. Yeah, that shit hurt. Yeah, you used to do PT on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That shit hurt. Something like this. That shit not gonna save you. You still gonna break your bones. Mm -hmm. But it ain't as bad. It's not that bad. But it's if you're scared of heights. Yeah, this guy. It's gonna be it's scary. And I told y'all my story time that what happened to me. I fucking was bouncing all over the place. I cried. You know? <laughs> I'm over here spinning on the tower like this and shit. They pulled me down. I'm gonna do that shit again. Go back up there. So that was one of the worst things to me. That shit was embarrassing. Because it was in the um, beginning too, right? Yeah. A couple weeks it's in the, the beginning. Like the first week. Yeah, it is. So we were going to the team, team building and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah the first first half. Everybody knew who I was. The girl who got stuck. Me that set, up, like, <laughs> set me up for failure, honestly. Because after that, every just I knew who I was. And I don't uh -huh. want... And I don't want you, right? Yeah, I don't want everybody... Just try to stay a low profile. You know what I'm saying? Not too low. Please. Because if you say too low, they're not going to know you're trying to be low. But like low enough to the point where I'm pretty sure there's some some... Freaking privates that didn't get caught, get in trouble, caught on nothing the whole time they were there. They kind of like skated through. Me, every time they needed an example it was me. All right, Power Baker. I'm like, why me? Like, what the hell? So you did the Warrior Tower. Well, so pretty much, I'm telling y'all my experience about mm -hmm. that fucking tower, mm -hmm. that God forsaken tower. <laughs> they make you go on top. It's scary because it's just like a straight surface. There's nothing like holding y'all. So as soon as you get to the top, it's like staircase mm -hmm. come all the way up. As soon as you get to the top, are you on the knees? Yeah, yeah, once you get to the top, you're on all four. They tell you, like, they'll scream at you if you're not. Oh, but we, we climbed all the way. Like right. a little maze. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking about the stairs. You was walking? There were stairs in the middle, on the inside oh, of the, the tower. Because you know, the other side is the obstacle course. And the inside of it is stairs. And you get to the top, and you're, like, on all oh, four. So you mind. We, go, we climbed up the ladder, but then we got on, like, the third level, and you had to crawl the rest of the way up until you got to the top level. No. Yeah. Where you went? For Jackson. Like Jackson. I want to live with. So. Oh, okay. Well, Jackson might be different. 
So yeah, you guys are top and we're there. And I'm like shaking, like about to shit my pants, like so scared. I start praying. Like I'm like, God, please don't let me die. I promise. Like I will not do this if it's not my time. If I, it's not for me, just tell me and I will go. Yeah, tell my daughter to tell me to get the fuck down or something and I'll leave. But I ended up getting there or whatever, having a little harness. And they make you like, they hold on to you. Not hold on to you, but they hold on to your harness. Yeah. And then like, you basically gotta trust them to like not let you fall. So they'll like, pull you back kind of. And they'll make or you stand. Or you, Actually, they make you, you look over that. the ledge first. Yeah. Did they make you do that too? Yeah. They make you look down and look down. Y'all yeah. have like a step y'all have to step on first? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Girl, they tell you to yell down to the bottom to the person that's on the bottom, bro. I saw how high up I was. And I was like, I started crying, bro. Me too. Fucking pussy. Me too. And my just was like, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> You're not doing none of that! I'm like, I don't want to do it. Right. right. But yeah, so I ended up going over it. This is the bad part for me. <laughs> I went over and he like let me down. He was like, step down. But I couldn't feel it. So I'm there like this. He's like, put your fucking foot on the floor. Not the floor, but the ledge. And I'm like, I can't feel it. Like, it's a thin ass piece of wood. So I finally got my foot on and I'm here like this now at that point and I'm like scared that like when he lets go the whole rope is just gonna drop. Did he make you jump? Did yeah, jump? they make you jump like three times and you're like squatting kind of. But yeah. ooh, child, I, I, I jumped twice. That's it. That's why you know I'm not doing it again. Third time I bust my ass. So. For real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll do my own thing. <laughs> fuck off my tower, female. Like, That's how they was to me too. But like I stepped down and I slipped. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I freaking slipped and like my body went like that and I slammed into the tower and all you heard was ding. A whole everybody else at the bottom saw my just I was like, you're gonna fucking die, female. And I'm like, God please, I just wanna get down. I start dangling, I see trees. You, you can see all the yeah. trees and shit, right? I was like, yo, gas go. chamber. Woo right, child. <laughs> right, so we still do the gas chamber. They still do the gas chamber to this day. How many do you know how many things they put in yours? Like little pellets? They tell you. That's so strong. I don't remember. So what, what they make y'all do? Well, okay. first off, let's start with the fact that I'm claustrophobic. Lord have mercy. I put that gas mask on and I started freaking out. Like, I started hyperventilating. I couldn't put it on. Like, you know how when you're outside, they make you don your mask yes. to see if you know how to do it? But I started panicking. I took it off. I was like, first Sergeant, I can't do it. And he was like, put the fucking mask on, female. I was like, I can't. I started crying. They was like, Bob, relax, please. And I'm like, I can't do it. And he was like, oh, yeah, okay, so when you go in there, if you want, you don't have to go in there with your gas mask on. You're just going to die. Right. I was like. They say shit like that to scare you, but they not gonna hurt you. Yeah, that shit will fuck you up, though. Cause you're That's like, like, cause it's like, I was never going there, too, but, like, I didn't talk. Really? Ooh, no. child, I was in there freaking out, and they're like, just relax. So, like, as soon as we got in there, you know how, I think it's, like, 15 people? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, um, but it's not that many people. But then they make y'all all, like, go on one side and the other side. So what they do? Like, the same shit, like, where you, like, turn your neck, and you're, like, this up and down, and, then, and they make you, yeah. No, first thing, you jacks? Yeah. Like, they make you feel it in your uniform. Like, and I went when it was hot. I went in August. It was yeah. hot when you went to? Yeah. Yeah, so it was hot, hot, like. I was just in September. But, oh. but yeah. Um, so you go in there. You go to the gas chamber. Um, for us, they made us walk around in a circle. You know, walk in our circle. But first, okay, first you get in, they make you, they talk to you. Can you, can you feel it? They're like, no, I can't feel it. Then they be like, all right. Oh, yeah. Lift up your mask. And then they come and hit you. Like, all right, you're good. But they do that so that way you'd be like. <gasps> but it wasn't like a punch, but like a. That they're, they're touching Girl, your body. when I took it off, I held my breath. You know you were yeah, supposed I held, to. I held my breath too. You're not supposed but to. But it's like I, I held it, but would you breathe back in, even with your mask? Yeah, because it's in it's your already, mask. It's already yeah. in there. So, it's yeah, that's what kind of happened. So, it wasn't running that bad. And then they was like, all right, she said something else. And then they, they didn't make us do jumper jacks. They made us take our mask off. They made us stay in the street. That's Are you serious? serious? I have a very good In a circle. I don't want to be the team. I was like, you gotta say, you already know. You gotta say the whole thing. Once we finish, we were able to go out. So, we ran out. But my Joe Strong was an asshole. He told everybody to drink milk. If you drunk milk, you threw Ooh, up. you threw all that shit up. You threw oh, up. Damn. So when we walked out, my friend... Well, people that freshly saved, shaved. Ooh. Ooh. So they, they, they walked out. They, my friend broke her rib, broke her ankle, basically. Her, but she she fell through. She didn't tell the Joe Strong. So her ankle was messed up the whole basic training. She didn't go to sick call because she didn't want to fail. Are you serious? But yeah, so make sure you open your fucking eyes when you walk out. Like, do not... Do 